What's going on you guys, Uncle Jesse here, making a video that I really never want to make, but I just wanted to share this with you guys because I had something happen to me today with my ultrasonic cleaner that I wanna make sure you're aware of. So just a few weeks ago, I made a video about this really large ultrasonic cleaner and how I'm gonna be able to use it to clean off some of my larger resin 3D prints. Well, one of the components of this resin 3D printer is that it has a heating component to it. What I didn't realize was that there's no automatic shut off with that particular heater. So with the actual ultrasonic functionality, it will only run as long as you set the timer for. However, the heating component of that will just continue to run and run and run as long as the machine is on. Even if it's not set high, it's still a potential risk. And that's exactly what happened with my ultrasonic cleaner. This morning we woke up and we smelled this really strong pungent odor throughout our house. And lo and behold, it was actually the ultrasonic cleaner here, the solution that I used to clean my prints. Mean Green here was essentially baking inside of this ultrasonic cleaner. And I'll move the camera around so that you can get a better angle of this and, and look at it, but it essentially was baking that liquid inside of the actual ultrasonic cleaner. And I'm assuming the residual resin that was just sitting at the bottom of the tank. Again, the ultrasonic cleaner was not up and running. However, power was still on to the unit and I didn't realize that there was actually heat going through this actual machine. So uh, again, this is more of a PSA than anything. So if you're interested in you know, 3D printers or ultrasonic cleaners or whatever it is, make sure to take the proper precautions because you do not want something like this or a 3D printer catching on fire. I, I don't think this, would have caught on fryer. I, I don't know entirely. Thankfully, I was not using isopropanol alcohol inside of this because I do think it would have been very flammable at that point, but it was definitely smoldering here and very, very noticeable. And I'm sure that wasn't very good for my family. So we immediately tossed this thing outside and I just brought it back inside here. I'm not sure if I can actually salvage this or not. I'm not even sure if I wanna use it anymore. Probably just gonna go back to the bucket method that I was using previously to clean off all of my prints, just because it's entirely safer than this. Or if I do decide to pick up another ultrasonic cleaner, I'm gonna make sure it doesn't have an actual heating component to it. So if you picked up one of these, maybe you saw my video, maybe you just picked up one on your own and it has a heater, make sure to check this out and test it out that if you leave the actual unit on, if the actual heater is gonna to continue to run there. So it's just, again, a big safety precaution. There's isn't really a fun video that I enjoy making, but I did wanna share it with you guys because it was something that I just ran into and it's all about me learning from this and sharing it with you guys here in the community. So stay safe out there and uh, again, watch out for all of your machines. Thankfully I was here and caught this before anything, you know, really bad could happen with it. But hey, just thanks again for watching you guys and I'll see you next time. Bye now.